Hello everybody, Andrea Majewski here with Dental L Mobile Hygiene. So a lot of patients that I see, they say to me, I didn't know that mobile dental hygiene was a thing. And everybody I've talked to, they kind of looked at me like a hygienist is coming to your house. What do you mean? There's no such thing. So it makes sense that people have questions. How does the mobile dental hygiene service actually work? So let me tell you. So I come to your house. It usually takes me about 20 minutes to set everything up and then at the end of your appointment it takes about 20 minutes to, to tear everything down and then load everything into my car so what do I bring exactly so I come to your house and um, what I have in my car is I have a portable um, patient chair so you don't have to lay on the couch um, on a chair none of that so I actually have a comfortable portable chair for my patients and I have a stool for myself to sit on. I do have two portable side tables where I fold those out to put my tray with my instruments. So I have the same instruments that you would see in a dental office, um, just the portable version. So I don't have anything big. Um, I don't have any big equipment. I don't use any high speed hand pieces because people don't like those anyway. Um, the only big piece of equipment I have is my portable um, compressor unit and that houses my air, water, um, my suction. So think of when you're in a dental office when they rinse your mouth, you know, the water has to come somewhere. So in my portable unit, it's about this big, probably like 50 pounds, but um, thankfully it's on wheels. So I just kind of wheel it in. Um, that houses my unit with the air, the water, the suction, all of that. So just like a dental office, which is awesome, right? The instruments that I do bring with me are, they're in a pouch. So you can see that I have not, not used them for anybody else, which we wouldn't anyway, but I find it just helps patients to know that I do place all of my instruments in pouches um, because I do have my own uh, statum heat sterilizer in my house. So at the end of the day, I, I transport those instruments and I sterilize them in my house. So after I use the instruments, I put them in a container that's labeled um, dirty instruments. I put them in there and they soak in a solution, um, an enzyme type of solution that sort of eats away at the bacteria. You know, basically, you know, probably too much information, but that's what it does. So those dirty instruments, I do keep those in a sealed up container in my car. And then at the end of the day, when I go home, I um, put those all through the sterilizer and then I wrap them up or uh, sorry, I wrap them up first and then I put them in my sterilizer and then I package them again for transport the next day. So that's how everything works. Um, what else can I tell you guys? I have a polisher, so I do not use a high speed hand piece. That's noisy. I have a polisher that kids love because it, it, it is cordless. It's quiet and it kind of looks like an electric toothbrush, but just with more power. So that's what I use for that. And like I said, kids love it. Um, I do have special things that I like to use for kids too. So I do have a kid's um, toy box. I have stickers. I have all kinds of things. So kids love that. For kids and adults, I have mouthwashes, toothpaste, um, um, toothbrushes. I have everything because I am a mobile dental hygienist. So if you need something or if I'm recommending something to you, I like to be able to have that so that I can say, oh, I'm suggesting a Sensodyne toothpaste for you because your teeth are cold sensitive. Well, I, I, I actually have a Sensodyne toothpaste for you here, you know, here you go. Because how many times has, has, a, has a dentist or, or, or a doctor or anybody um, recommended something to you and then you're, you're saying, okay, I'm going to have to go out to buy that, but then you don't think about it, right? Um, even I had a massage appointment the other day and um, she, she recommended a certain cream for me um, because my, my, my skin has been more dry than usual. Um, but am I going to buy that cream? No, because I kind of forget what the name is. Did I want to buy it? 
Yes, but I just don't have time to go to the store. Whereas if she had that cream for me to maybe buy, then I would have been happy to do that. So that's why I like to have a little bit of everything because every patient person is different. Not everybody uses the same toothpaste, so I like to have a little bit of everything. But you might be wondering, so how does the process actually work? So I bring everything in, I set everything up where you want me to. So living room, dining room, kitchen, bedroom, it doesn't matter. You just kind of tell me where to go. I need one outlet, maybe two, to just sort of plug in my um, compressor. If you have a lot of stain, I like to use an instrument that um, sprays out some water. So I do need to plug that one in too. Um, and I like to have, I like to use an, an intraoral camera. So, so it's this like little thin camera that I take pictures inside the mouth. So not so not x-rays, but I, I, I take pictures. So that way, if I see something on your last tooth back here, and I'm trying to explain to you what I'm seeing, you're, you're probably going, oh, I can't really see that. But if I take a little picture of it, it takes like half a second, then I can show you on my laptop. It's just so much easier to see. So people love that. So I like to take those um, pictures first. It takes maybe one minute, that's it. Um, and then I, 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 I like to do a quick charting after that. So since I don't have a lovely dental assistant, I do all of the charting on my, my, my own. So that's basically paperwork, right? So I, um, I record the charting, probably takes about three minutes, where you will just hear me calling out numbers. Um, I'll be calling out things that probably don't make a lot of sense to you, but I'm just basically calling out tooth numbers. Um, do I have the sheet here? Let me see. Um, I thought I might have had a chart to kind of show you guys because when I go home, I listen to that afterwards and then I make your own chart. Uh, sorry guys, I was just looking to see if I had any extra ones to show you. No, these are all written on so I can't show you patients' names. Sorry guys, I was just having a quick peek, but um, but that's what I do. So I do the charting so that when I go home, I I can think, okay, so this person had this many teeth, they had this many teeth missing, they had a cavity on this tooth, this tooth, this tooth, or they had no cavities, they had more stain on the lower front teeth, you know. So I like to say that out loud, so I turn on my recorder, that just sort of has all of that for me so then so then i can listen to it afterwards so that takes as i said like two minutes that's it and then we can get the fun started so i clean the teeth after that and the nice thing is is that i let you know that if you have questions at any time if you're not sure about anything let me know but i do talk kind of as i go to so you know what i'm doing you will know if i see something you will know if if things look awesome, you will know if there's more stain here, there's there's more plaque there. So I kind of talk as I go as well. So a cleaning for an adult typically takes 45 minutes. It might take an hour. If it's been 10 years since you've had your last cleaning, then it might take longer, but I can either do it all in the same appointment or I will come back for another appointment after that. So that is totally up to you. And it, and it depends on how much time that we have set aside. Um, after the cleaning, we just sort of talk about everything I saw to, um, at that time. Um, if, you, if you have any cavities, if I feel you need anything else, um, we talk about just everything you know we just talk about how we can make your mouth as healthy as possible because that's my job to you is to um to educate you and teach you what's happening so that you can be as healthy as possible because health starts in the mouth so that's what i firmly believe and i also like to prevent things from from getting worse so so if you have a big cavity you know let's prevent that so that it doesn't happen again in the future. So I talk about all of that with you. Um, after we talk through, through everything, I will clean everything up. And then that's literally it. Um, I do accept insurance, which I do have the forms here. So there will be a claim form for you to sign. Sorry, I can't lift up my clipboard. There we go. Um, there is like a claim form for you to sign. If you do not have insurance, that's okay too. 
I accept email transfer, um, cash, credit card. I'm pretty easy um, that way. But if you do have insurance, I do submit everything to the insurance first. You would only pay the difference that's not covered at the time of your appointment, but that's it. And then we book your next appointment. If you have any questions, we talk about all of that. So you never have to think, okay, well, she's in a hurry, so I don't have time to really ask my questions. No, I book plenty of time for questions because I find when I go to people's homes, they have questions. They start to see like, oh, this is how it works. This is really easy. This is a lot more comfortable than going to a dental office. Well, she seems knowledgeable, so let me ask her questions. So people always have questions and I love that because I am here to help you guys have the best healthiest meal possible because who doesn't want nice teeth, right? Everybody does. So I am here to help. I think I explained everything. Did I forget anything? Did I leave anything out? Um, I do do teeth cleaning. I do teeth um, um, whitening. Um, the teeth whitening takes about 45 minutes to an hour. That's it. Um, I like to do, if you're having the whitening done, I like to do teeth cleaning and the whitening on the same day because having clean teeth really, really, really helps for the whitening. Um, but I do a lot of other things too. So just let me know if you have any questions, pretty much any dental hygiene service that you can think of. I do, and I love it. So I am very happy to help. Um, thank you guys so much for listening again. Let me know if you need anything. And if I forgot something, please just comment below and I will talk to you guys very, very soon.